If you're like I was when I started to teach myself French, you're probably overwhelmed with the literally thousands of great online and mobile resources that all say they're the best way to learn a language. The truth is that languages are super complex and you'll need lots of tools to do it right, most of which are free. What I want to do today is help you build that complete language learning toolkit by introducing the right tools at the right times based on your level so you could learn your language five times faster than you ever thought possible. I'm Andrew with Brainscape, an adaptive flashcard study app built on decades of proven cognitive science research into how we learn better. We've been collecting feedback from our millions of users who have studied adaptive flashcards and Brainscape to build the perfect set of foreign language practice activities that will help round out whatever cool study tools that you're using for your vocab and grammar drills. Some of these might surprise you, so listen closely and be sure to check out the more complete toolkit over at the Brainscape Academy with dozens of links to great practice resources. Let's get started. You may be surprised to hear us recommend finding a conversation partner as your first step toward learning a language. Most people's first reaction to this is, oh, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready to be judged. I'm just a beginner. You gotta get that out of your head and flip it. Attempting to speak comes first on day one. Not only does having a native speaking partner force you to stick to the most basic conversational needs first, but your partner will help you avoid developing bad habits and it will keep you motivated to study in between your sessions so you can impress them with your growing skills. Where do you find these partners? Well, if you're lucky, you might already have a native speaking friend or relative willing to help you out. But you can also try finding a conversation partner through one of those great sites teeming with people who are dying to learn English and trade tips with you in your respective languages. Alternatively, if you're looking for someone more professionally trained in guiding you through a curriculum, then you might want to find a tutor, which can sometimes be expensive, but will give you someone who is better at drilling down on your weaknesses, kind of like hiring a professional personal trainer at the gym to make sure you're doing exercises correctly so you don't break your back or a lamp. <laughs> One way to save money is to spend most of your time with a casual conversation partner and only use a paid tutor more sparingly for a paid hour here and there when you need them. You can especially get your money's worth by keeping an ongoing list of your outstanding questions about grammar or slang or whatever, which you can save for your tutor each time you meet. That way, uh, having a human speaker in the loop will give you purpose and direction that you can drive when you're in the real meat of your studying during the weeks in between sessions. Which brings me to number two, find some kind of well-organized progression of vocab and verb drills that really allow you to track your progress and repeat those concepts that are giving you the most trouble. Now, of course I'm biased, but I'm going to tell you why Brainscape is the app you should be using for this purpose. Brainscape is not a game, it's not a cute multiple choice activity where you just recognize the right word, like in Duolingo. It's a system of adaptive flashcards that actually make you think of the word or phrase in your head, just like you were on the streets of the actual country trying to haggle over the price of a snow globe souvenir for your BFF. Why is this such a big deal? Because breaking language concepts into bite-sized learning objectives allows you to individually assess how well you knew each item on a one through five scale so we can determine how soon to repeat that card as you continue through a personalized ongoing stream of new cards. I'm not kidding when I say that this combination of active recall, metacognition, and space repetition has been shown to be the most effective use of mental faculties to really make a foreign language stick. This is real science not just YouTube science or company jargon. If you want to check out the really science on Brainscape, we have complete sentence-based flashcard curricula for French, Spanish, and more, and our flashcards will move you adaptively from the most basic through the most advanced concepts in any language, so you can easily rank yourself up front and know exactly where in the curriculum you should start. It also just so happens that Brainscape can be a great tool for your next requirement, a place to collect new words and phrases. 
I'm going to go ahead and assume that as you work with your conversation partner or you see new words in your reading materials, you're already going to be looking them up in some online dictionary or app, and then you're already going to be writing them down somewhere to make sure you don't forget them. What better way to record those words than just straight into that flashcard app? And if you are using Brainscape as your flashcard app, you can add those cards either directly into the existing flashcards that we started you with, or you can build your own decks from scratch, organize them however you want, and then study them on the web or in our mobile app where your progress is always kept in sync between all your devices and all your flashcards. The main point here is to make it easy for you to be a relentless note taker whenever you're learning new words and wherever you are so you can remember everything once and for all in case one day you suddenly need to find El Baño. The final tip I'm going to cover here is how to practice reading and listening. Lots of people will just tell you you can learn a language by watching TV or movies. And maybe you can, but it would take you like 10 years to absorb everything. What you really need are huge streams of words. And not just random words, but words that fit specifically into the level of proficiency you're at. Otherwise, 95% of what you hear will just go right over your head and you've wasted all that exposure time. So how do you find all this level appropriate reading and listening material? I'm glad you asked. First, you're gonna start with an activity that is super underrated, which is listening to something while you read the same transcript of that same language at the same time. To je dobra idea. The beauty of this is that it really doesn't matter if you know what any of it means. What you're doing is you're training your eyes and ears with a huge volume of words so you can get better at knowing how it's all supposed to sound and hearing where one word stops and the next begins. You can even try reading along out loud as long as you can keep up with the pace of the native speaker, which you might have to slow down by 0.5x or something. But one way you could do all this is to use an audiobook while you're reading the actual book. Uh, or, or maybe watch a foreign movie with closed captioning in that same language, uh, which can be great in documentaries or Pixar movies, uh, because uh, sometimes real movies can uh, be a little bit too slangy in the subtitles and it doesn't match verbatim, which is what you want. Another great idea is to sing along to the lyrics of popular songs in your target language, which are really easy to find online. Even if songs aren't necessarily sung in the same cadence that people would speak, it's at least fun and it's a neat party trick when you can bust out all the words to the Bacarena. Anyway, once you've got the ear and the eye trained, you can start moving on to reading news, magazine articles, and books without even having the audio accompaniment, just your trusty Brainscape app to make sure you're adding flashcards for all the words you're learning. And then as you get braver, you could start the listening activities without the written words, things like podcasts or movies. Um, but again, I would start with documentaries or dubbed Pixar movies that you already know, since they tend to be clearer uh, for people to understand and with familiar plots so you can infer the meaning of phrases that might have otherwise been right over your head without the context. The bottom line here is that you wanna be very gradual and deliberate about always pushing yourself just outside your comfort zone, but not too far where it's discouraging. Using something like Brainscape's adaptive flashcards makes it even easier for you to see that progress in actual numbers so you know when you're ready to move on from watching just those Pixar movies in French to something even more practical. If you like this advice, be sure to subscribe to this channel or check out the Brainscape Academy for tons of great learning hacks for foreign languages or just about any other subject or habit or skill that you're trying to build. If you take learning into your own hands and be deliberate about the tools that you use, then I have no doubt that you'll be able to rise to your challenge. <laughs>